uh, Donald Sadaway. I'm a professor of materials chemistry in the Department of Materials Science here at MIT. And I'm also a co-founder of AMBRI and uh, presently act as their chief scientific advisor and a member of the board of directors. The, the genesis of the, of the battery is that uh, I knew that cost was the big problem. So cost had to be part of the solution right from day one. Now most of my colleagues invent the coolest chemistry and then um, hope that when it gets to the manufacturing phase that uh, people in manufacturing will figure out how to chase down the cost curve. But I knew that in energy that doesn't work that uh, you know the incumbents are not other batteries the incumbents are hydrocarbons and they're heavily subsidized and very heavily entrenched and so if you're going to undercut uh, oil gas coal you're going to have to be doing something that is really really inventive i totally disregarded everything i knew about batteries because i knew that batteries weren't going to get me down to that price point and i started looking around elsewhere and my other area of research is electrochemistry as it's uh, applied to the production of metals. So I knew how electricity can be consumed in huge quantities to make metals like aluminum, magnesium, titanium, and whatnot. And I looked at a magnesium smelter and I said, wow, this, this is a device that consumes huge amounts of electricity uh, at enormous capital cost, and yet it takes us from dirt to metal for less than 50 cents a pound. I said, well, that's an economic miracle. What can we learn from this that might be applicable to a, a battery? And it's not a battery that's got to go in your pocket or it's got to go underneath the seat of your car. It's a battery that's going to sit in place. And that was, that was the genesis of, of, of the idea, to look at, uh, well, an aluminum smelter knows how to consume vast quantities of electricity. Can I teach an aluminum smelter how to store that electricity and give it back on demand? My name is David Bradwell. I am the co-founder and chief technology officer at Ambry, a company that I, along with uh, Professor Donald Sadaway, spun out of MIT back in 2010. At Ambry, we believe in a lower cost, more resilient, and cleaner energy future. We are developing a large-scale energy storage technology for the electric power grid to support intermittent renewables like wind and solar, as well as just increase the resiliency of the, of, of the grid overall. This project started back in 2005. Uh, I was a graduate student uh, looking for a thesis to work on and Professor Don Sadaway had a very interesting idea based on a, a conceptual um, mechanism for storing large amounts of, uh, of energy uh, from the grid. Uh, we started working on this project uh, really with the early intent of wanting to commercialize it someday. Uh, we spent a number of years working in the lab to move the technology forward, discovering new chemistries uh, and demonstrating fundamental cell performance. Ambry's battery technology that was developed at MIT is un unlike any other battery chemistry out there. In our cells, all three act active components are liquid. We have a liquid metal electrode which pools on the bottom of a cell container, a molten salt which floats on top of that, and then a third liquid metal layer which floats on top of the salt. This allows us to use low-cost materials, it's very simple to assemble, and it can last potentially for decades. We've demonstrated thousands of cycles with effectively no capacity fade. So every time you're charging and discharging the battery, you have the same amount of energy uh, that you did the last time. So unlike the battery in your cell phone or your laptop, these batteries won't degrade over the course of a couple of years. 